So as more and more vaccine mandates are being enforced by companies, unvaccinated employees who have been terminated are suing for wrongful dismissal. This is a growing issue as businesses are caught in between ensuring a safe workplace and potentially facing lawsuits for requiring vaccinations. For more on this, employment lawyer Lior Samfiro joins us to break down your workers' rights. Lior, always great to see you. An incredibly important topic. Let's get into the details here. What constitutes a wrongful dismissal? How prevalent are these claims from your point of view? So, Anthony, despite what the name wrongful dismissal suggests, a wrongful dismissal doesn't have much to do with the reason someone is let go. Really, a, a wrongful dismissal is a situation where an employee is let go either without severance or with insufficient severance. So it all comes down to that severance. If you've been let go, even if the reason is amazingly fine, if you haven't been paid proper severance, you've been wrongfully dismissed. Now, even pre-COVID-19, pre-pandemic, most individuals, when they were let go, even if they've been offered severance, I always found there were more severance, so it was a wrongful dismissal. But Anthony, I can tell you that over the last six months, with the number of people being let go because of their vaccine status, in my 20 years of practice, I have not seen this many wrongful dismissal cases in such a short period of time. So our courts are going to be quite busy over the next uh, number of months. That's remarkable. Now, how difficult effectively are these claims to prove to resolve? Uh, give us a sense of how long it takes. And I wonder the likelihood of success from your perspective as well. So I know that, that there's always a bad connotation with respect to the legal proceedings. People always believe, oh my gosh, it's going to take years. And that may be true for some cases, criminal cases, personal injury cases. That is not the case with respect to employment law cases. Employment law cases on the whole resolve fairly quickly. And the timeline is often measured in weeks, not months. 98, 99% of them are going to resolve week, uh, months before they even go to a courtroom. So you don't have to look at it in that sense. Matters resolve usually fairly quickly, and I do think, that for the reasons that we've discussed in the past, the fact that there's no government mandates for most individuals that have been wrongfully dismissed because of their vaccine status, yes, there's a very good and high likelihood of being successful. So once this happens, if an employee loses his or her job, are they allowed to work in the meantime? What are the rules on that? Certainly, we understand that individuals have the, the right, they have the need to find employment to earn a, a living. So not only are employees that have been wrongfully dismissed allowed to work somewhere else, they have the legal obligation to look for another job. We call that the duty to mitigate. You have a duty, if you've been let go, to try to replace the income that you've lost by looking and trying to find another job. So that's absolutely fine. I do think, though, Anthony, that individuals that have lost their job because of their vaccine status are going to find a hard, uh, have a hard time finding another job because they may not be hired because they're not vaccinated. That's an important point as well. So let's get to the court ruling or the judge's ruling in this. Uh, and this kind of goes both ways, doesn't it, for the employee and the employer? How does it impact cases going forward? So in uh, Canada, we have a precedent system. In other words, a lot of our laws have been cre are created by judges, and whatever judges decide often set precedent for other future cases. Now, with respect to vaccine cases, there have been no court cases yet on this issue. I don't expect any before the summer or the, or the fall of 2022. And honestly, by then, many, if not most cases, would have resolved. So yes, we will have some court decisions coming up in uh, at some point this year uh, and they may set precedent for other cases uh, those cases sometimes can be differentiated or distinguished so it's not necessarily a final ruling but as i said before 98 99 percent of these cases the, the the vast cases that we're seeing right now will actually resolve before a judge ever has an opportunity to consider and to rule on it Important issues, but you are seeing, I mean, we're talking about dozens of cases, hundreds of cases, not just for you, but employment lawyers across the country. Is that what we're seeing? Well, I can tell you that my firm alone, we're just one firm. We're handling a few hundred of these across Canada. So as a whole, there's certainly thousands of these cases ongoing right now. As I said, in 20 years, I've never seen anything quite so substantial. So I think that uh, there's a, a lot of more information on this and news and even court decisions to come. Look, there are many angles to this important story, and this is one Im incredibly important perspective as well. We appreciate this employment lawyer, Lior Samfuro. Always great to see you. Have a great weekend, sir.